Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Javier Camacho, and today I'm going to go over a little bit of uh, talking about my DIY sol solenoid spot welder. And there are going to be a lot of gibberish coming out of my mouth because uh, it's been a while since I do a video, and also it's been a while since I speak in English. So hopefully you can forgive me. But the main idea of today's video is just to go over of what I have on my setup and how I use it. And so you can actually make one for yourself, especially now that we are close to the hurricane season uh, here in Puerto Rico, in Florida, Mexico, and every other country that it's near the Ecuador line. So if you want to build your DIY power wall and you don't want to be messing around and you need a spot welder, well, this is going to be the solution for you. But before we get to that, I'm getting close to the 10,000 subscribers and I'm getting eager to start pumping out more videos, especially uh, videos about 3D printing and other projects that I have in my, in my, in my pipeline. But YouTube told, uh, told me that about 75% of the people that watches my videos are not subscribed. So I'm, asking you a big favor please share the video like the video and subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell so you get notified whenever i make one new video which is i'm trying my best to do at least once per month but it, it looks like once every now and then uh but it's i've been really busy and actually that's the reason i went with a diy spot welder because I wanted to have a battery ready for my mom and I didn't have time to do a, a kit or assembly or stuff like that. In the future videos, we're going to upgrade the spot welder and also talk about fusing, which I know is a big deal in the DIY community. Uh, for me, it's not anymore and I got my reasons for it. Um, anyway, let me just go ahead and show you. but. Just keep in mind, this is something that you can build yourself. I'm not going to go through all the details on how to put it together, but mostly show you. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there to show you how to put it together. I'm going to show you what I have and how you can use it. So, first, the battery. This is the heart of the DIY spot welder. I'm using a battery that is mostly used for uh, lawn mowers. Uh, generators, small uh, gas power uh, items like, I don't know, motorcycles, go karts, and stuff like that. This one, it's 250 CCA. That's cold cranking amps. And once the battery is warm, you're going to get anywhere between 250 and 310. It will depend on how much charge you have on your batteries. I actually use a battery tender, which is down there. The battery tender allows me to have my battery, you know, always charge, uh, especially when I'm using it. I want to keep a constant voltage on it. But yeah, that's basically it. A, so, a small battery. This one I bought it on Walmart. No, I bought it on AutoZone, costing about 60 something dollars. And the second piece, it's a solenoid which I have over here. I also bought it in AutoZone. I'm going to have links on the description so you can buy it on, on um, Amazon and that way you can help my channel. But I'm using a four pole uh, solenoid, which basically consists of the main two poles that connects or makes the circuit and the other two that energize the coils inside the solenoid. Basically, when you short these two cables over here using a relay that I'm going to show you a coil that is inside the solenoid gets energized making a connection in between I also have two electrodes down here these cables are gauge uh, uh, 4 4 AWG cable uh, it's not the best they are kind of too rigid, but it works. So you can actually use a cable to jumpstart your car 
and that will be fine. My only advice is to uh, make sure that it's they are thick cables, pretty thick one. If they are flexible, that's good. If not, don't worry, but they need to be thick. They get hot really fast. Over here, I got um, as my electrodes. Uh, these are K, uh, uh, cable number six, uh, pure copper cable or pure copper number six that I bought and cut them and I actually grind them to be pointy. I don't know if you can see that. And the main reason for that is, you know, to make an, a, a, an impression on the nickel and then you can spot weld. And also a relay. This is just a switch relay and don't know if you can hear that. That's actually the solenoid being activated every time I hit this. That's basically it. So the, the way this thing works is that you activate the solenoid using a relay. This gets shorted or the full circuit gets completed. And over here where you're going to have your battery, this is where the whole current, the whole 250 up to 310 amps, I'm going to go through the battery, through the nickel, and it's going to make the connection. So let me just show you really fast the way I use it. This is something that you already saw in the past. So I got this. It's a battery holder that I 3D printed myself. If you want one, let me know. I got my batteries over here. I'm using a small clamp to hold them together. Right? Let me just get this a little further back. For my strips, I'm using uh, 0.2 millimeters strips. I try 0.1 and 0.15. This one for me works the best, uh, but you can try out w which one it's best for you. So basically what I do is I put my battery underneath the electrodes place them and just like that sometimes twice for good measure let me see if i could go around so i give you a better close-up to the switch again i place it quick tap twice for good measure let me see if i could get these on top of the battery so you can see my hands again Sometimes it's quite slippery. What I do, I try to press down a little bit, and that's it. Okay, and my last one. So this is why I have a battery uh, holder. I could just flip it around, be ready for the next one. Get my strip. Just like that. There you go. As you can see, this is the battery that I have. I just made in front of you. And this is the main reason I made my own battery spot welder or my own DIY spot welder because I wanted to make sure that I have enough time to make the whole battery and also be ready for the hurricane season and these are pretty solid every time I make one little pack I just go around like that put it next to the other ones and continue on the battery tender is going to allow you to keep the voltage you know up there and make sure that you know you can work with this hours and still have enough voltage to push enough current to the electrode. So let me just go ahead 
and show you a little bit how everything is get it's connected. So you have cables, main cable connected to the positive. This is the one that I have my relay on. Then on the negative, I have my, my solenoid that is connected to a copper bar, also connected to the cable over here to my electrode. This is quite warm right now. My relay, basically, it's connecting. These two cables are connected to the solenoid, one for the negative, one for the positive. For positive. This is not a, how to say that? It doesn't matter how you connect it. All it cares is it gets energized. So when one, every time you push the relay, it gets energized and that's everything. Over here, I have a piece of aluminum block that has a screw here and here. So I got my cable inserted, screw in, and I also have my electro inserted and screw in. You can buy this on Home Depot and also um, Amazon. I'm going to have links on the description to so you could actually buy everything that you need. It's quite hot over here today. Um, let me focus a little bit. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, in future videos, I'm going to play, explain a little bit why I'm not concerned about fusing, uh, at least not cell level fusing, and why I haven't gone with my battery kit. Uh, in the meanwhile, in the meantime, I just wanted to show you around what I have so you could buy it, put it together, and get ready for hurricane season. Uh, so that's basically it. Hopefully you guys like my video. Remember, please share, like, and subscribe. It means the world to me. I'm trying to output as many videos as possible, especially now since we're getting close to hurricane season. And... I'm also getting ready to do a bunch of videos with 3D printing. As you may know, I have a 3D printing farm close to 40, pre 40 3D printers. And why not? Let's start making videos about our future projects uh, regard 3D printing. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And remember, and this is the most important part of this video, Jesus Christ loves you. He died for you and for me. It didn't matter what we did or what we did in the past, who we are, who we like. The only thing that matters is that he loved us and he died for us in the cross. So all of us that believes in him can have access to eternal life. So remember, God bless you and see you later. Bye-bye. Share, like, and subscribe. I mean it. Let's get to the 10,000 mark. Take care, guys. Bye.